Daniel Bell Drummond once again showed his fighting qualities as he recorded his maiden first class 100 on the opening day of the LV County Championship match between Kent and Derbyshire in Canterbury. Rob Key will have been delighted to win the toss on a glorious day in the Garden of England and he was soon putting back to ball as he dominated the run scoring of an opening partnership with the 20-year-old Bell Drummond, a man who's just beginning to realise some of the potential he showed as an even younger man. Key should have been out in the ninth over of the game as he lobbed a shot to mid-wicket, but the bowler, Mark Footed, had gone over the line and a no ball was called, eventually. With Bell Drummond deciding to bet in for the long haul on a pitch which appeared to be too paced at times, it was left to Key to hit the boundaries, and he struck six of them in his 34 runs, which were made out of an opening stand of 48 in the first 17 overs. David Wainwright was brought on in the 18th over and Key went after his second delivery, only to miss the ball by a distance to offer Gareth Cross an easy stumping. Unlike many a young player these days, Bell Drummond is a man who really values his wicket. He had to wait until his 52nd ball to find his first boundary. Ben Harmison had been promoted to number three in the order and he was just beginning to settle into his innings when he was out for 17. It was Wainwright again who got the wicket, Harmison playing for some spin which wasn't forthcoming to edge behind at 74 for two. Wainwright got through seven overs in the first session of the first day which may have the other spinners licking their lips as this match develops. The left armour almost had a third wicket too before the break. Bell Drummond got away with that to go for his food on 27. Tony Palladino thought he had a good shout for LBW against the opener on the restart. Kent were looking for Brendan Nash to pick up the rate a little as he's a man who usually scores fairly freely. But on 21, he chose the wrong ball to leave alone and was bowled by a pumped-up Palladino with a score on 113 for three. Wainwright, in good form at the moment, continued his long spell, but he wasn't always able to keep a lid on the scoring. Bell Drummond was now heading towards his half-century, while Fabian Cowdery showed little respect for the spinner with shots such as this one. A sixth boundary took the hard-working Bell Drummond to his fifth 50 of the championship summer. He'd now also passed 500 runs for the four-day season. This one was a real battling effort, using up 127 balls, his half-century arriving in the 49th over of the day. Bell, Drummond and Cowdery took the total to 149, only for the latter to be given at LBW to foot it, although from the batsman's reaction there must have been an inside edge involved. Bell Drummond was the man now holding this innings together. He's shown a real development in his talent in what is now becoming his real breakthrough season. He now had the advantage of having Darren Stevens at the other end. Not only does he have many years of experience to be able to pass on advice to his young partner, but he was also able to take the pressure off as he, as ever, went after his boundaries, allowing Bell Drummond to bat as he had been doing all day. The opener had moved on to 72 at tee out of a score of 184 for four, and he would have known that he now had a great chance to get to three figures for the first time in his career. He nearly lost Stevens at the other end. Once upon a time, he might have gone hitting the ball twice off Marcus North. Stevens and Bell Drummond waited for any delivery from the spinner that was too short. On this slow pitch, such balls were easy to turn away to the boundary. Bell Drummond moved beyond the 92 he made earlier this season as his highest ever score and he now just had to finish his excellent job off. He'd taken the total to 236 and needed just two more for his maiden ton when he lost Stevens at the other end, although the batsman on 45 could hardly believe it when he saw the umpire's finger raised for a leg side catch behind. It gave Palladino his 150th first class wicket for Derbyshire. It was the start of a collapse for the home side, but not before Bell Drummond got the run he needed for his battling 100, made in his 30th first class appearance for Kent. He might win the award for the biggest beaming smile seen on a cricket field this year. A wonderful moment this as he went to his ton of 255 balls and innings containing 11 fours. Palladino also had a fine day. His third wicket came in the same over as Sam Billings edged a waft behind to go for a duck. And it was soon four for the bowler as he finally removed Bell Drummond for 101 with an LBW. It brought an end to an innings which had lasted five and three quarter hours.
From 240 for four before Stevens' controversial dismissal, Kent now slipped to 247 for eight after Palladino also trapped Adam Riley in front for his fifth wicket. He now has 11 five-wicket hauls in his career, although this was his first of this year. So four wickets had fallen for seven runs in six and a half overs to the second new ball, leaving it to Adam Ball and Robbie Joseph to see out the remaining four overs of the day. Derbyshire would have been delighted with their fight back in what's been a difficult season for them so far. They ended this day having reduced their host to a score of 259 for 8, Palladino finishing with the figures of 5 for 54. But as good as he was, this will be a day remembered forever by Bell Drummond, the only man who dealt with the conditions really well.